Hey guys, Gvidas from Surfshark here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Surfshark VPN on your DDWRT router. Having a VPN set up on your router can be extremely useful if you want to easily secure all of your devices at home, or share the VPN connection to devices that don't support a VPN, like a gaming console or a smart TV. As always, if you enjoy Surfshark tutorials, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Before we get into the VPN setup process, let's discuss why DDWRT is an awesome piece of router firmware. If you want to skip directly to the setup process, please check the timestamps below. I flashed DDWRT on my own router at home, and I was surprised at how it transformed my router. Nowadays, there are many router firmwares like OpenWRT or Tomato, but DDWRT is still the best in terms of compatibility. Just like any other custom router firmware, it can also improve network stability, especially if you have an older router. But by far, the biggest benefit of DDWRT is the sheer amount of features that it brings to your router compared to its default firmware. By default, your router that you purchased off Amazon or Newegg may be fairly limited in the features front. Take for instance this Netgear R7000, which is probably the most popular DDWRT router out there. Its default firmware isn't bad, but DDWRT can make it a lot better by adding features like SSID control, data traffic monitoring, scheduled reboots, daily bandwidth usage, UPnP settings, and even the reason you probably clicked on this video, VPN support. While this all sounds great, is there a catch? Well, the catch is that flashing DDWRT is quite a process as you can imagine. It will most likely void your warranty, and if done incorrectly, it can even permanently damage your router. But if you do your homework and follow the instructions, it will work just fine. If you are looking to flash your router, it's important to know if it's compatible first. I will leave a link in the description below to the DDWRT router compatibility list. Here you will need to find your exact router model to see if it's supported. Select it and download the required files for flashing. Then carefully, and I mean carefully, read the instructions. I can't stress this enough. It is crucial to double check or triple check if your exact router model is supported, as there can be multiple versions of the same router. For instance, this TP-Link Archer C7 has like five revisions and flashing the wrong files, well, that would just wreck your router. With all that in mind, let's get into how to set up Surfshark VPN on your DDWRT router. Before we start, please note that you will need a router that has a minimum of eight megabytes of flash memory. Whether or not your router meets that requirement, you can check in the specifications list of your router. Firstly, let's log into your router's control panel, which we can do from a browser. You can use any browser and any device as long as it's connected to your router. I highly recommend using a computer since that will make inputting the commands much easier. So open up your favorite browser. I'll be using the Brave browser for this. Now type in the IP address or also known as the default gateway address of your router into the address bar of the browser. 99% of the time, it will be 192.168.11. But in case that doesn't work, on screen now, you will see other possible addresses. These can vary from router to router depending on the brand and model. For my router, it was the default IP of 192.168.11. If you use the correct default gateway address, you will get a small browser pop-up asking for your username and password of the router. You most likely know your router credentials if you just flashed your router, but in case you have forgotten it or have not set your credentials yet, then try using root as your username and admin as your password. If it still doesn't work, reset your router and it will allow you to set a new password. After logging in, you will get to the router's control panel and this is where we'll be configuring the VPN connection. Now that we are in the control panel, let's open up the setup tab here on the left next to the wireless tab. Scroll down to the network address server settings. And here, the static DNS 1 and 2 must contain Surfshark DNS. So let's type them in. For static DNS 1, enter 162.252.172.57. And for static DNS 2, enter 149.154.159.92. Once that's done, make sure that these two bottom items, DNS masked and DHCP authoritative are also checked. And then you can save and apply settings here at the very bottom of the page. Now we can start setting up the open VPN client. Scroll to the top and click on services and then click on the VPN tab. Here at the bottom, enable the open VPN client and you will see a bunch of settings pop out. First things first, we will need to enter the server name of the location we want to connect to. For that, let's go to our website. So let's open up a new tab by clicking control plus T on your keyboard or just click the plus icon, enter surfshark.com and log into your account. Once you're logged in, on the left side, you will see manual setup tab. Click on it, 
And then here on the right side, click on locations. This is where you'll find all the host names of our servers. At the very top, you'll find the fastest and the nearest country servers based on your current location. But if you want a different location, just scroll down or use the search bar to find it. For this tutorial, I will connect to US New York locations. So let's just type in New York. And now just select the host name and copy it. You will get a pop-up, but just close it. And now you can click Control plus C on your keyboard to copy it or just right click and select copy. After that, just go back to the previous tab and paste the host name into the server IP name field. Once that's done, make sure that the port number is 1194. Encryption cipher should be AES 256 GCM. Hash algorithm should be SHA 512. These other ciphers should be left as default. Next up, let's enable user pass authentication. Here, we will have to enter our Surfshark manual service credentials. These are not the same credentials that you use to log into our apps. They are instead special credentials only used for manual connections, and they can be found on our website. So just go back to the previous tab and click on credentials. Click on the clipboard button to copy the username and then go back to the control panel, paste that in, then go back again, copy the password and paste that into the password field. That's it, we are halfway done. Next, let's enable the advanced settings. Here, we will only have to change the compression from adaptive to none. All other settings can be left as default. Now, at the very bottom, you will see a bunch of empty text fields. We will only have to fill up three of them, TLS key, additional config, and CA cert. All required text commands for these fields will be available in the description below this video. I'll just paste in the TLS key, followed by additional config, and lastly, CA cert. Here, make sure to also copy these begin certificate and end certificate lines that are big letters. Okay, cool. Now to finish it all up, let's connect to the VPN. So just scroll down at the very bottom and click save, click apply settings. We can now go back to the top of the control panel and select the status tab and then click on the open VPN tab. Here you should see client connected success, indicating a successful VPN router connection. If you see something different like client waiting, just try refreshing the page. But if it says the connection failed, please rewind the video and check if you entered all the settings correctly. Now, if you want to disconnect from the VPN, simply go back to the services VPN tab and just disable the open VPN option. Don't worry, this will keep all the settings you just selected. Of course, you can also change the server by changing the server IP field with a different location hostname. Finally, after all that, we can check if our router connection is working fine. You can test this on any device that is connected to that router. I will do this on the same computer that I configured everything on. Open a new browser tab and go to surfshark.com forward slash what is my IP. Check if your location matches the country your router is connected to. For me, it shows US NYC, which is the correct location, and it also says that I'm protected here in green. So it looks like everything is working as intended. If your location did not change, it could be because your browser cached some files. So just try completely restarting your browser. And that's all I have for you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you are still unable to connect to the VPN on your router or have any questions, contact our customer support team available 24-7. If you have any thoughts or comments about DDWRT, make sure to comment down below. And if you want to learn more about Surfshark, you are most welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time.